Hi, Rana. How are you? Hi, Dalia. Good morning. Good morning. Very good. Um, uh, I just wanted uh, to say hi and uh, uh, introduce you, uh, Rana Safadi, uh, an abstract uh, painter. Um, and we'd like to know more about your um, art journey. How did you start? How did you get into art? Actually, all my life, I've always been interested in all the cultural field in general, whether it's music, photography, art, writing. And um, I started by writing at the beginning. I used to write poetry, like stories and so on. Then if I want to sit with someone and explain to them what I exactly do, it was always confusing. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll take my camera, not necessarily a prof professional one, and start going to the streets of uh, Amman and other places wherever I am and just take photos. So the visual sense that I see, I wanted to share it with others. Then photography wasn't enough for me. And it became, it became too digitalized and many people take photos every day. So I thought I will move towards art, expressing myself through art. Mm -hmm. So um, I looked around, I, am, I live in Amman, as you know. So I thought uh, I'll, I'll take maybe private lessons the, the reason is that when I take a private lesson, I want to express myself the way I want. I don't want directions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found uh, the artist, the Jordanian artist, Hassan Abu Laban, and I started taking uh, art lessons with him every Friday. So mm -hmm. I used to have a lot of fun because I told him I don't want to paint uh, the regular still life and so on. So he was the exact uh, perfect match for me to learn how to express myself, use colors, uh, the palette, I do whatever I wanted with it using knives and uh, like, uh, I like thick layers uh, mm -hmm. to paint with thick layers. Oil, of course. Yeah, well, okay. And um, uh, what kind of, uh, why do you paint? Let's uh, start from there. Why do you paint? What, what are you trying to express? You know, I think every human being is, is, has a certain talent or interest or a power point, like some, a point that he or she is more powerful with. Mm -hmm. To me, I think um, the best uh, gift I have is that I have a very strong visual sense or eye. I have a, 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 like an eye for details, as if I have a photographic memory. When I see a building, uh, clothes, uh, whatever it is, it, it always uh, like imprints something in my mind, in my eyes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I, I like to express myself visually and share this visual experience, which is unlike in a way our culture because the Arabic culture is actually oral. It's like we're spoken, we talk about poetry, we sit and talk and read poetry in the old times and so mm. on. But uh, the visual sense in our region is very new, is very, very new. So since I was a kid, like I used to go study in France uh, during the summertime, People would be, like my friends would be going out and having fun. I would do that as well. But mainly I'd go to museums. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite is the Musée d'Orsay. And I used to go there and read about Monet and Rodin and, and all these uh, great artists. Uh, so I started to kind of have more information about the history of art. And my eye would continue to see wherever mm -hmm. I am. Like I would always attend exhibitions, read books about art. I have a, a very, very nice network of artists in Jordan that uh, helped me actually develop my uh, skills. For instance, Ali Maher, may his soul rest in peace. He was uh, uh, very uh, like uh, the father of, uh, of art. He's an architect and he used to help me uh, to draw. That was 